Well, Republicans are hoping to turn the state of Minnesota red one week from tomorrow on Election Day. Today, the candidates at the top of the GOP's Minnesota ticket started a two-day, 15-city tour of the state to build excitement and rally voters. Republican candidate for Governor Jeff Johnson was joined by Lieutenant Governor candidate Donna Bergstrom, as well as Attorney General candidate Doug Wardlow and State Auditor candidate Pam Myra during a stop at Bemidji Regional Airport. It feels so good out there right now. I've been through a few of these before, both myself and working for other candidates, and I know what it feels like right before you win, and I know, unfortunately, what it feels like right before you lose, because I've done both. And right now, it feels like it's right before we're going to win. There is a... This is, this is different from any midterm campaign I can ever remember. It, I, I felt it two years ago in the presidential election, but I've never felt this energy and desire for change in a midterm election before. And it's there. Johnson says it's important for the Republican ticket to share their message with voters in these final days before the election. Our message is really simple. We're going to let people keep more of what they earn to spend on their own families or their own businesses. We are going to hold state government actually accountable to taxpayers again in this state. And we are going to change the, the culture, the attitude in our state agencies from that of controlling and directing us to actually serving the taxpayers who pay their salary. Because we've lost that in Minnesota the past few years. And that message is very different from what the other side is sharing with people. Grand Rapids and Roseau were among the other stops for the Republican ticket today. Meanwhile, the DFL tickets bus tour makes a stop in Bemidji on Saturday. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.